I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine expert. In this episode of That's Gotta Hurt with Dr. David Geyer, I'm going to talk about recovery treatments and recovery tools that pro athletes use to recover from games and practices. And I'm going to do it all in this flotation tank, something that Steph Curry has used for a long time. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> This is a, a recovery treatment that I heard about Steph Curry using. Apparently he uses these in you know, pretty much after every game. The owner of this place was telling me that a lot of pro teams actually have these in their training room, but it's basically to help them relax and get over the stress of competition, the stress of all the practices and the, the long toll over the course of the season. This is really interesting. Like I'm making no effort at all to float. There's so much salt in here that I mean, an idiot, idiot could do this. You don't even have to be able to swim. Over the last few episodes of That's Gotta Hurt with Dr. David Geyer, I've shown you a number of other recovery treatments. We've done whole body stretching. We don't have to do both sides. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh. man, we gotta make sure you get the full experience. No, I know. You saw me get my body stretched beyond its limits, I felt like, at Flexable. You saw me take on whole body cryotherapy for three minutes. So let's start with Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz. Arguably one of the best quarterbacks. Damn, this is cold. And I've done an infrared sauna. I've been in here maybe three minutes, and it's already really hot. So I can, I, I see where this could be a challenge for 30 minutes. But I think this is the most unique yet. This is one where you basically stay in here for 60, 90, 120 minutes. I'm doing 60 minutes today, and we'll see how it goes. About two minutes in. Not so bad so far, quite honestly. They tell you to try not to think about anything. I don't know exactly how you do that. Now, here in a few minutes, I'm actually going to turn on the lights. Apparently, it gets really, really creepy. It gets to where uh, you don't really know what part of your body is floating, what part of your body is in the water, what's out of the water. Apparently, this is where it gets really but the woman that was here that sort of got me oriented today was telling me that sometimes people see things, sometimes they feel like they hear things because they're so disoriented. It's just not very often that you have no visual stimuli, audible stimuli. It's just nothing except floating. There's a, a floaty that you can reach for if you get you know, claustrophobic, if you lose your sense of bearing. The owner calls it a, a trust bar. I feel like I see intense colors all over the place. This is really, really weird. I don't think I'm going to have that many problems with it, quite honestly, but we'll see how it goes. That's so weird. It keeps feeling like my feet are falling to the bottom, but yet I look down, they're way out like just barely resting on the water. Like, my whole foot just about is out of it. If pro athletes think this is a good idea, I think it's worth a shot. We'll see how it goes for 60 minutes. It is very relaxing though, I will say. One of the more relaxing things I can imagine. But what other interesting recovery tools, recovery treatments have you heard of? I've heard of Amari Stoudemire, of the, he was with the New York Knicks and Phoenix Suns. He used to do these red wine baths after games. He would fill the whole bathtub with Spanish Tempranillo and that would help him relax after games. I feel like I have to wiggle my arms and legs, fingers and toes every so often just to make sure I'm still in water and know where I am. There's talk that Aaron Rodgers, the Green Bay Packers quarterback, will actually sleep on an earthing mat that helps him uh, ground himself. I don't know much about that, but it's an intriguing idea. 
I think that talking is helping me keep my bearings. But it's a really, really interesting sensation. One of the Washington Capitals players, TJ Oshie, that sleeps with these padded uh, things on his body that sends electrical impulses to all his muscles so they contract throughout the night. Supposedly helps him overcome and recover from really, really hard workouts. This is probably why I can't take baths at home. It's not that it wouldn't feel good or not even be a little relaxing, but I've got stuff to do. I don't want to spend an hour taking a bath when I can take a five minute shower. I think that's the same problem here. Just after the 10, 15 minutes of the new sensation went off, I don't know, just kind of lost interest a little bit. Okay, I decided I had to come home and take a shower. I took one at Glow Spa, but I still felt dirty. When I got out of the float tank, uh, before I got into their shower, I had like salt dried all over my body. Kind of disgusting. And I just didn't feel clean after I left there, so I thought I'd take another one. So that's my experience with floating, with 60 minutes in a float tank. I don't know if it's necessarily for me, but to be fair, I'm a beginner. It might be like meditation or mindfulness exercises, which I'm really horrible at those too, but supposedly those get better the more you do them. This might be the same type of thing. Maybe I just couldn't relax the way I wanted, but quite honestly, I just needed five, 10 minutes of that. I didn't need an hour because as you saw, I got kind of bored. Part of me wishes that I had been able to float a book on the water, maybe with some sort of portable light and read it or something. I just, I needed something to do. Maybe that would have defeated the purpose of sensory deprivation. I don't know. If you have thoughts on some of the recovery tools and recovery treatments some of the pro athletes use, definitely leave those in the comments below. If you've heard of any crazy treatments that pro athletes do, leave those in the comments below as well. Maybe I'll try one of those in my future That's Gotta Hurt videos. And again, this is a challenge. So if there's some sport, some exercise, some you know, treatment, recovery tool, some crazy health fad, food to eat that supposedly makes you a better athlete, Athlete, leave those in the comments below because I'm certainly willing to try them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you right here next time.